Hello and welcome to Flex Lay Media coverage of the front seven lead card action of round three at the 2020 Christchurch Fling. My name is Chris Hoopman and I'm joined by Brady Cush again. How you going, Brady? Good, Chris. How are you? Very well. Apologies to anyone listening if it sounds a little bit different. We are on location at Lake Orho. Man, I'm super excited to see this uh, round three action. We've seen some movement in the second round. It's been really good. Yeah, you know, like it was a real hot first day, you know, like a lot of people coming in under par, you know, like it looked like the weather was going to change a little bit for this Sunday round. Um, so, you know, like, let's see how we do. Leading off in first, we have Simon Feezy, 11 under par, you know, like, you know, RPM player there. We have Team Innova here with Johnny Ferrari. He's uh, tied for second at minus six. Uh, team RPM as well, Jimmy Tiatufu. Um, up from Auckland, he's down at minus six, and then you have myself, unsponsored player, uh, just sitting at minus six as well. So we have a great lead card today. Um, hopefully the conditions aren't too bad, and we'll be able to attack the course. Let's get into it. Here we have uh, hole one, par three, 101 meters wide open, so these players should have a uh, fairly uh, simple uh, throw, just looking for that, uh, push it out to the right, and have a high ring into this guarded green. Yeah, it should be a routine, like, kind of mid-range or putter for most of these players. Um, you'll probably notice today the weather is a little bit different. We had beautiful weather for that shot here, but as you can see, Simon looks like he sawed it off a little bit um, into the headwind. Uh, so he's a little bit past pin high, so that should be fine. It'll give him a bit of a look. Yeah, Simon was eager to get going, so he just caught his drive off the tee. Yeah, we got started a little bit earlier this morning um, to try to squeeze in the rounds and get people home on time. Um, Johnny Ferrari looks like he's made that same mistake. He threw it two inside, um, but he'll be pin high with a look. We have Jimmy Tutufu coming to us from the North Island. Such a smooth thrower of the disc. Really great to see him on lead card. He's coming off his big win at the Auckland Champs just not a week ago. Uh, so he's yeah, made the correction. He's thrown it wide. Uh, looks like it might be a little bit short with that headwind, though. That's going to be a tricky shot. He'll be just probably outside circle two. And here's yourself. Good to see you on lead card, Brody. Yeah, I was happy to make lead card. No jitters. Well, maybe a little bit of jitters here being on film for the first time. Let's see how it plays out. I've made the correction, so I'm out wide when playing Havoc, as you can kind of see, as it will do all day. Um, and I've made the same mistake that Jimmy has, so we're both left short with a little bit of a tricky upshot. Yeah, just behind that guardian tree. Um, distance, not too much of a problem, but yeah, that headwind makes it tricky. And yeah, yeah. Kind of your bid there, just turning over. Yeah, it was turned over into the wind. Should still give me a look. Shouldn't be an easy one. Well, uh, well played by Johnny. Just safe using the ground. Yep, yeah, that should be, that'll be a tap in par. Here's Simon with a bid for birdie. In the middle of the fallen branch. Oh, <sighs> yeah, great, great just run. to the right side. Yeah, good bid from that. Straight into a headwind for him. <laughs> Jimmy checking the headwind and giving me a face full of du of uh, grass. <laughs> Let's see if he can make a correction. It's it's a, basically for his putt right now, it's a howling right to left. So it's going to make a hard putt um, with him being a little bit of hyzer. He's got that classic um, Paul Macbeth stance, a little bit of a spin from the waist. Nice and direct, but yeah, just a bit low. Yeah, that tailwind's going to do just that. It's just basically going to drop it to the ground and push it down the whole time. Um, I've Same thing. This should be a routine tap out. As you can yes, see, I have to reset for roaring. it. <sighs> and, and yeah, probably camera nerves, little speed of play, I'll tap out, take the bogey, uh, an unfortunate way to start here, the lead card. Yeah, I was, I mean, uh, you, you normally say these should be routine tap outs, but you never know with this wind. Yep, good par by Simon, so he'll hold on to that lead. Yep, cleans, jogs, he'll get out of the way. Par for Jimmy, and I'll also be a par here for Johnny Ferrari. Um, not what we're looking for. We would have loved to get off the off to a hot start with a birdie, but you know, like unfortunately, yeah. we'll take some pars and a bogey. Yeah, with with this windy conditions, you know, pars pretty good. Yeah, we'll see if Simon can repeat his birdie from yesterday. So this is hole two, par three, 138 meters. Um, the wind is going to help us. It's technically pushing from right to left, um, but it, it's basically havoc with anything over 100 meters. Um, or <laughs> Is it right to left? No, it looks... Slightly left, left to right, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, it's pretty strong. And, yeah, Simon's drive immediately turning to the right. And that's... Yeah, he's turned over. The, yeah. He cut the hole in half, but, I mean, you know, like, that's still going to be, yep. like, a 50-meter upshot. See if Johnny can make the correction with his headwind. 
Yeah. Not same thing. Yeah. Like it's pretty much straight out the hand. As soon as it gets to the mid flight, turns over, pans out to that right hand side. I'd hope Jimmy's pulled out his most overstable driver. Yeah, that looks like a Qatari. So there's RPMs like fastest overstable disc and overstable it is definitely <laughs> fighting that wind. But unfortunately, again, straight into that tree. And overstable from you. Overstable <laughs> for me. So this is a Punisher. Um, it's kind of like a PD. Um, but definitely Even that's flipped. Yeah, that was flipped straight out of the hand. Um, I'm way right compared to Simon and Johnny Ferrari. That tree is probably going to come into my second shot here. Yeah, definitely yeah. further to the right than you'd want to be. Yeah, like normally it's that's the play, you know, like just play it safe, play it to the right hand side, you know, like take an easy up shot um, here. I'm uh, with a low ceiling. I'm just trying to skip on the outside of that tree. That's such a tricky shot. Yeah, but clearly I did not make it outside that tree. Let's see what Simon can do with this wide open up shot. Yeah, wins Comer going straight at it. A uh, little bit long, kind of to that left side of the green. Yeah, that skip's not helping, and it's uh, pretty odd with this wind. It should have just kind of pushed it and held it there. Johnny's got an open shot here, too. He looked like he's whew. take the wind out of it, but he's a little bit too low. Um, but yeah, he'll still be inside this circle for a look. So that's, yeah. a, that's a good upshot by Johnny. And Jimmy with the low ceiling on his throw, but he's kept that ooh, bit of a flare skip. Yeah, he's done that same thing, Simon. Mm. So yeah, again, this kind of like the grass with the rain coming into play, it's definitely skipping out on this morning round. Wow, and your stance is right behind that tree. Yeah, I had no real shot at this. I was looking into the headwind, so I'm trying to take... Um, that's a Discraft Raptor. Just again, trying to take it. I got my weight right, so I'm pin high, but you know, like I'm outside the circle with a tailwind. Not where I want to be for my par putt. Yeah, all of these putts are going to be relatively tricky with this wind. Not as close as our... Uh, lead card want to be but that's great from jimmy under the basket yeah right where you want to be that'll play simon's got a good spin putt so it might cut through this tailwind a little bit better if he can keep it up uh <sighs> yeah a little half go from simon not bad you know like leaves him with a nice easy drop oh, in. and you've got another tree in your way <laughs> you'd think this hole is a little bit more open than i'm, <laughs> I'm making it appear i'm also it appears i'm putting with a a kia so that wind is playing havoc with my mm. normal putting style Oof. Uh. Just off the basket. Good bid. Uh, here's Johnny. Probably got the best look out of all of us. Oh. oh that's a tough one. That was par. That was going to get a stroke yeah. on the card. Get one back on Simon. Bounced out of the basket. All right. Let's see if you can focus up. Yep. There we go. Finally, double bogey. So that one's going to hurt. You know, like that's kind of three shots I've given mm. to the card in the first two holes. Um, but there's plenty of golf to play um, with now Ninja Simon tapping out <laughs> uh, his bogey. So he'll take a four. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be easy tap outs for bogey for both Johnny and Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, as we can see so far, this conditions are pretty tough for our lead card. Um yeah, not th not the start that you're wanting. Most players are wanting, mm. especially on this lead card, lead card to get off to a hot start. Yep, can be very scorable, easy on. Uh, here we have hole three, par three, listed as 46 meters. I reckon it plays slightly longer with the raised basket on this mound. Players are going to want to go, I would say, overstable, hanging out right with this wind. Don't yeah, know yeah, it's going to be the same thing. So yeah, you'll see those flags are kind of ripping straight into our faces here. Um, so Simon's taking. Looks like overstable, taking straight at that front hill. Yeah, and he just, you know, like kind of hyzers out left. It won't play too bad. Yeah, there's a landing zone out there. Johnny also going direct. It's going to have to have this hold its line. Ooh, Ooh that's smoked. Juiced. <laughs> yeah, that's straight out the back. So again, he was probably trying to throw it harder to cut through the wind and keep it nice and low. Unfortunately, like Simon's, it mm. hyzered out to that left-hand side when it finally did get stable. That's going to make a tricky up and down for him. Oh, Jimmy. Selecting his disc. Yeah, I think that's going to kind of be the recipe of today. Of The wind was constantly mm. changing both direction and um, like magnitude of how fast it's coming. He's played this one nice. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's going to be a little bit short. So, you know, like hopefully he'll just kind of like chip up and take the three, but that'll be a really hard look for birdie. This looks great from you. Just playing into that headwind. It's drifting a little bit right, but that'll play. Yeah, that'll play. It'll give me something to work with. Yeah, Johnny's out, so he's going to be longest. 
stick. Oh, oh good. Yep, I reckon yep. that's stuck. We'll yeah, so it hits the side of the hill. Yeah, you can mm. see him right there in the middle, so that's good. Still, with a raised basket, putting from the side isn't going to be <laughs> easy. No, f footing's going to be hard. Yeah. The wind's going to be hard. Uh, yeah. As you can see, Jimmy's here on a straddle. He's going to be putting directly into the headwind if he can feel it on that backside there. Ooh. Oh, no. Well, that's not too bad. No, no. So he should have that same distance look again. He'll mm. get a tailwind on this time. Um, so that'll be good for him. And this is the classic um, <laughs> situation where it's like, do you run it or do you lay up? <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, I couldn't feel the headwind on that side. So, you know, like it was, I figured, oh, I can give it a mm. safe little bit. But as you can see, I'm I'm well outside again. And that's a layup. Or yeah, pretty much. Down. Maybe a little half go, mm. um, but a safe one. Yeah. Here's Jimmy. Hopefully Jimmy can make the correction. This should be a, a up and down. It's in his wheelhouse. Ooh. Oh, that's a bad kick off the band. Can't see where yeah, it landed. I think he landed about that same distance again. It pretty yeah. much where his drive up landed. Yeah, back on the chips. Come on, Jimmy. Oh. Uh, right same. back to where he was. Yeah, that same putt again. Man, he's committed. He wants. He just wants to throw it in. Well, it's good to see that the confidence is still there. Yeah, Dang, there you go. Speaking of confidence, yeah, great putt. Uh, yes, please wind that back. <laughs> so even with all these kind oh, of missed putts, <laughs> that just crept in. Yeah, but nice, solid, nice in the heart of the chains. Great catch by the basket, especially in this wind. Watch it drip, trickle all the mm -hmm. way to the tray. So yeah, great putt, Jimmy. Johnny's like, yep, yeah, I'm just nice. gonna tap in my yep. safe par. I played this how I wanted to. Simon will do the same thing. So yeah, no real flash starts here. Couple pars, couple bogeys. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, like not terribly too much damage. <laughs> yeah, gotta watch it in, follow the rules, make sure you let it go, make sure it's suspended by the basket. And on to par, a uh, hole four, par four, 164 meters. Wide open fairway, just got to watch out for the OB road on the left um, and then the continues onto the bollards that you'll see by the green. Just got to watch this bush uh, just in front of the basket. Uh, there'll be a mando pole there, um, keep, keep, keeping discs away from the tee of hole five. Um, but just looking for a placement shot on your drive um, and hopefully you can chip around and land yourself on the green. Yeah, yeah, it's a great two shot hole. This wind is going to play havoc with all of us. Simon taking the straight shot. You can see with the body English, he wants it to hold right because that's going to hyzer out a little bit. It's pushing up, and that's stuck. That's uh, a yeah. good spot. That's yeah, a really that's a great spot. spot. He should have an easy forehand up and down from there. Johnny's throwing nice and low, it's and it's over. turned over on him. It might push a little bit with the cut. Ooh, nice little yeah. bit of a roll. That'll help him out, keep him away from that tree. Mm -hmm. So kind of, yeah, have again that similar like forehand up shot. This has flipped up nice, but it's, oh yeah, it held on. A little bit higher than you'll probably want. Yep, Catching yeah. Catching that tree. That, that tree's a bit unfortunate, so the wind kind of took it up and held it over on the mm. right-hand side, so I'm going to have a tricky shot from over on there. Jimmy with a huge run-up. He'll be pushing this as far as he can go. Yeah, he wants some distance. Ah. Not sure what happened there. No, nah, just should play all right. I'm yeah. potentially thinking that he threw his uh, co two. Uh, Kotari again. Yeah. So it would be that overstable mm, distance driver mm. he has. So it looks like he's not trying to flirt with that OB at oh, all. I think he did he skip into the bush. Yeah, so it yeah. looks like he skipped into that bush. It's gonna be tricky from there in order to punch mm. out uh to try to get the par look. Maybe he's playing a little bit safe away from that OB. Mm hmm Backhand from Johnny into the green. Yeah, if that holds, that's gonna that's, be beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Johnny. That is textbook. If you want to know how to throw an upshot, please yeah. contact Johnny Ferrari. Um, that is an excellent shot by him to make it part. Also go on the backhand. That's safe. Just in the opening to the green. Yep. Yeah. So kind of similar to Jimmy's. I didn't want to flirt with that OB whatsoever. So I figured just, yep, chip up to the kind of circle's edge, you know, like give myself a look. Mm -hmm. And someone with the forehand is possibly pushes a bit high. Yeah. And that's so straight in the bush. Simon did flirt with that OB, mm, mm. you know, and he had the miss, which is, you know, not going OB, but yeah, he's put himself into the bushes. So Jimmy's which, got nothing. Just, I think he's going to push this through the bush. Potentially? Yep. Yeah, yep. I think that was punched through to the other side. So he punched out. Here's my look for birdie. So I, I'm just outside the circle here up on the mound. I'm putting down into the headwind, though, so that's a pretty tricky shot for me. 
and yeah, just float it over. Yep, float it into the headwind. So that'll be a tricky back. <clears throat> Come back. Ooh. Oh, it looks like Simon got through. Yeah, so this is a of... cheeky little birdie yeah. look for him. If he can convert. Had the height for it, yeah. which is good. So it's good to see that. But yeah, he was probably expecting a little bit more push from mm -hmm. the wind. And this is where Jimmy's uh, punched out. So yeah, so he's sit. straddling out from the knee. So he's going to kind of have a similar wind as Simon did. So let's see if he can read the wind a little bit better. Oh, off the cage. Yeah, that's kind of hard, like when you're putting uphill, especially when you can't mm. read the wind. So yeah, you yeah. know, like being that inch too low isn't too bad of a miss. Oh, what? Skipped out of the basket, man. Yeah, I don't really know what that was. As uh -huh. you can kind of see, I wasn't very happy with that. Mm. So, you know, like, yeah, I'll tap out another bogey for me, unfortunately. Yep. Not having the start you really want. A lot of red on that card. Nope. There's a par for Simon. Mm. So, you know, like he gets away without much damage. Um, what an excellent birdie here by yeah. by Johnny Ferrari. That was such an incredible upshot. I couldn't see it from where I was. Uh, so it was incredibly mm. done by him. Nice to see it on film. And then, yeah, a little tap out here and by yeah, Jimmy. He just carded the first birdie of the round. So... <laughs> <laughs> Get that green on the scoreboard. Congratulations, Johnny Ferrari. Uh, it takes us into hole five, par three, 62 meters. Um, as you can see, we have that bright big guardian uh, willow tree in the front. So a lot of people will take the forehand out around here to the left as the drone flies. Otherwise, you can kind of take a mid-range or a putter up the guts. There are a couple windows either straight at the basket by the trunk of the tree or out on the right-hand side. Looks like some rain starting to fall. Johnny on the tee. See what we can do. Straight up the yeah, gut for straight, Johnny. Straight at it. If that punches, yeah. Yeah, straight through. Nice one, That's Johnny. the look that he's looking for. So he's inside the circle. That should be an easy birdie for him. Yep, Simon's going to flirt with that left hand side. He's got a battle through the wind. Woo. Came in with some heat. And he is out the back. Looks like he'll be just outside the circle, maybe mm. 11, 12 meters. Let's see if I... I've been taking a forehand on this hole, so I'll probably be following Simon out to the left-hand side. You just hear that wind ripping through. Ooh, a little bit inside. I th think it may have just caught the edge of the willow. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I fought through all right, so it should give me a look probably about circle's edge. And Jimmy looks like he's eyeing up a backhand. He's probably... I would say he's almost exclusively backhand, Jimmy. Don't see him throw too many forehands? No, nah, I can't say yeah. I haven't seen him throw too many. I think that may have hit... Did it hit tree? tree? Itself. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, not too bad. So he does have a little bit of a window here. Little jumper. And just, yeah. That'll just play a for bit par. short. That'll play for par. And here's you. Got a bit of a curtain in front of you. Hopefully the wind is your friend and blows that out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. You can see I'm taking my time with this wind and, you know, like with those first couple holes, I really kind of want to dial it in and focus on this putt. Man, I can't even remember the nerves going through my head at this point. Uh, <laughs> good ones. <laughs> yeah, you can see the fist bump there. I really wanted that, especially to make up with those few holes. Um, nice clean release was focused the whole time. Yeah, little clap, little fist bump, <laughs> heart of the chain. So yeah, I really, really needed that as a confidence booster here yeah. going in the rest yeah, of the round. Yeah, nice one. I couldn't imagine you would feel much wind being inside that tree, so yeah. Nah, yeah. that played perfectly. Yeah. Hopefully Simon, so he's a l about that same distance. Nah, online, but just way too short. Yeah, that tailwind would have played into, <clears throat> into effect on his knocking him down. Come on, Come Johnny. On Johnny. Get it. Yeah. That's the row. birdie. That's the one you want. Uh, yeah. That's two in a row. So he's starting to heat up here, yeah. which is really good Maybe to see. Maybe a seven down. He's, he's pushing Simon. Woo! Here we go. Only yeah. a three-shot game. Yep, little birdie bump there. Jimmy should tap out the par, no problem. Yeah, nice. Yep, so hopefully he'll start to settle here. He's had a little bit of red on his card as well. Um, so hopefully Jimmy and I can start to turn it around for the rest of this round. 100%. Uh, but speaking of trying to turn it around, let's go into the hardest hole on the course. Uh, hole six, par five, 246 meters. Uh, at this point in the tournament, the course had changed. Um, so we're currently inbounds, but where the tree is just in front of us off to the right, that is now a Mando tree. So we need to play left of that. And so basically ba follow the fairway as the, as the drone flies. Yep. So the drone's really showing us where we want to go. So our second shot, we want to be landing right about here by this guardian tree on the left, which is the edge. 
those trees on the right are protecting a very deep um, pond, um, not, or lake, however you want to refer to it. Uh, and then on your third shot, yep, you're trying to throw down over this bush on the right and then hyzer back, um, you know, like drift to the left towards the basket here so you can get your birdie look. Um, with this wind, with the rain, with the cold, um, definitely was playing, I believe, a full stroke over par. Yep, yep. So quite a challenging hole uh, for our field today. This is actually looking really good for Johnny. Yeah, Johnny's he turned it, it over, well. uh, but it's going to play just fine. Hits the backside of that tree. I think it lands in the tree. <laughs> well, there you go. So yeah, he'll be able to mark it underneath, but that should give him a nice open look for that second shot around the second corner. You're opting for the forehand to get around this initial corner? Yeah, I'm just kind of... I try to play this as oh. a true... Like par through. five, so yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to do just that. That's a perfect shot. Yeah. You can see, yeah, a little fist pump there for me. So that's how I play the hole. Just Feeling one good. shot, one corner. Yep. Simon looks like he's trying to get over this uh, rough entirely. Yeah. But Simon I says think... one shot, two corners. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like he no. made it past that that second corner there. So yeah, I've seen a couple people take that mm. spike hyzer over the yeah. top. It looks like he's just clipped a tree, so he'll fall a little bit short of making that second corner. Just needs a push from Jimmy. And Jimmy's trying to follow, but it looked a lot lower than yep. Simon's. And he'll be in that rough. There he is. Yeah, so he's kind of deep here in that first corner. It looks like he has to throw, yep, pretty yep. much straight out to the right. So he's going to be out over under that tree where Johnny is. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he's going to kind of be looking at par at best for him. Johnny, yeah, has a nice open look. If he can make this second corner, he'll be right where he wants to be. Ripping a turnover. Come on, turn. That needs to turn. Oh, it ah. doesn't look like it turned enough yeah, no, that's yeah be. there's that out of bounds yeah. yeah unfortunately you can see those ballers that's protecting there's a road just past there um so i'm just trying to make it to that second corner kind of following where johnny was so i'll push the corner where that pond is yeah that's not a bad spot yeah came down just fine i'm in the fairway so you know like that'll give me some kind of look um kind of going up towards the green there mm. are you so, playing are you deliberately playing this more conservatively yeah in this, so, in this third round just looking to get up and down yeah you know like i in the first kind of couple rounds, I threw bogey, double bogey, I believe. Oh, that's the that's shot lovely. that I'm looking for. That's perfectly in the middle of the fairway. That's really going to give Jimmy an angle to attack the green. Oh, Simon's got a bit of a avenue out of the rough here. Yeah, he actually landed not too bad. So he's got good footing. Oh, but just chooses to just push out. Yeah, so he Simon, before the shot, was trying to look for, should I push it? Should I try a flex mm -hmm. forehand? And he decided, yeah, to just kind of punch out with a little Kia there, which sets up this, which mm, if I remember yeah. correctly, yeah. Yeah, he gets up there. That's so crushed. He's, so he's well down the yeah. fairway, right out in the middle. Yep, kind of halfway up that second stretch. Yeah, so it should be a nice routine, kind of like putter shot or ruru -ru for him. Mm. Here's me. So yeah, I really kind of want to get into this and see if I can attack the green. Needs to flip a bit more than it is. Looks yeah, like that came out on heaps ah. of hyzer. I could read the stamp. And so yeah, mm. I'm going to be pinched off on the left-hand side. So that's going to be a tricky up and down to get over those bushes. Jimmy, just a little bit further up from where you were. Yeah, this is the spot where you want to be. Jimmy should, if he can hold out yeah, to that right-hand side. It, uh, ah, just doesn't make yeah, it. Yeah, he tailed in with me. Didn't, didn't quite have the power necessary to reach the basket, yeah. but still, he's up there. He yeah, and a little, it's, little stretch out. Yeah, it's, it's hard to kind of commit to those full drives mm, when you're in the uh, middle of the fairway and not having the tee pad. Okay, that pushes the opening. Yeah, that's just fine. So he's on the outside, so that should be, that's, yeah, you know, like he's kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's tricky on that that edge there, that OB edge. Even a meter out, you're still kind of in a pretty deep rough. Yeah. So yeah, Johnny Ferrari looks like he's he's kind of stopped the damage here. So yeah, routine little roo roo shot <laughs> yeah, here for Simon. Highs a layup. That's lovely. Yeah, perfect. Just outside the bullseye, four meter mm. pot, no problem. Oh. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking at here? Looks like I'm not going over the bushes. So yeah, I had no look whatsoever. So I was just kind of trying to pitch out and make it around the corner. So yeah, I just threw that touch roller mm -hmm. to try to put myself in the open and johnny's actually not uh too deep he's actually can, can run at it yeah jimmy gave it a little jump yeah. i probably wasn't a go should have been just a good little layup for him and yeah here's johnny with a nice open forehand yeah easy up and down there you go he'll have that same four meter pot as johnny did and yeah i'm kind of way out this is still just yep just put it oh, close kind of looked like it could have teased you there but yeah, a little half go. You can see me. I put my hands down. I'm like, oh, that's high wind. Don't get to it. Little yep, settle. Big breath. sigh. Oh, no. Uh, that's two. Didn't even hit the pole. It just got kind of sprung out by the chains. 
Yeah, that one hurt. Um, yeah. I remember that part, you know, like that I did make the scramble and I put myself in that position and so to miss something from that close was mm. uh, definitely not the start that I'm looking for, especially, yeah, you know, like Johnny makes it out with not too much damage, so it's a bogey from him. Simon tapped in the par five. And uh, sh shout out Jackson Sullivan. He got the only birdie of round three. Whoa, congratulations, yeah, Jackson. Massive That's congrats great. there, especially considering this windy condition. Uh, and we had 16 players, unfortunately, carding over par. So definitely playing tough for our field today. Yep, yeah, you'll see me and Jimmy are going that way. Uh, hopefully we can turn it around. Here's an easily attackable hole, hole seven, par three, 93 meters. Um, off the tee pad, we're going to have a left to right wind, which is gonna put us into this OB pond you can see directly in front of us. Um, but hopefully if we can navigate this corner and make it around the trees, you'll have the basket here just tucked um, just behind with OB lining pretty much everywhere. These players are gonna to wanna to keep it as far away from that pond today as possible, push it out wide. Hopefully the wind won't push their disc into it. And that's played really well by Simon. Yeah, that's the one. Great shot, Simon. So mm. like good little skip there. Way to read it just right. Got the little bit of skip, so he'll be inside the circle for a birdie look. Johnny ripping it backhand. Turn over. Looks this like it got yeah, it got just, pushed down uh, a little bit, yeah, and gets pushed into that tree on the corner. That's all right. He's uh, kind of cut rolled out to the safe area. He'll have an open look for uh for his layup. Probably could possibly run it if he wants to get a little bit spicy. This is almost... Oh, yeah, he's it like, down. get down, get down. So yeah, it looks like... I've seen uh, a few people are playing it that, that way this weekend. Yep, that it's a layup to the corner and then either a jump putt over the corner or maybe a little flick depending on where you land. Um, I'll be following Simon. I take the forehand line out around and then look for the skip to inside the circle. Ooh, that's a bit low. Yeah, that never had the angle coming out of my hand. I threw it out flat and yeah, into that headwind just turned over almost immediately. So I'm way out to uh, the left-hand side. So yeah, I'll be up again. Just trying to make my up and down, just a nice easy, easy skip to the basket. Yep. Really want to be watching your angles here. Nice touch. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's perfect. That's Happy great. with that. Yeah. Inside, out of bounds, you know, like, yeah, should be an easy putt for me. Jimmy still has to kind of work around these trees. I feel like Jimmy's going to give it a little bit of a run here. Let's see if he can put it chain Ooh, high. Ooh, little floater. Nah, uh, perfect touch. That's still nice though. Yeah. Yeah, so he's got it pin high. That'll make an easy par for him. Johnny's a little bit closer. Again, I don't know if with that out of bounds just on the backhand side makes yeah, it a bit of a death run. For sure. That looks like a layup from him. Yep. yep. Layup. So it should be pars all around. Oh, wait Simon. a second. Can Simon work some magic? Get it. <laughs> I think that's held up. Did he stick? He's not, yeah, he's not as happy he, with it. No, because, yeah, and that's going to be right on the out of bounds line. So that was super close to costing him an extra stroke. Let's see what you can do. Putting for par. Oh. Never got it up. So this this was the part in my round for me where I knew camera nerves were getting to me. And mm -hmm. it was that putt, and I said something's got to change. Because that's, yeah, that's kind of the third oh. putt well with inside the circle yeah. that I needed to deal with. It's an easy tap out for par. For Simon, it mm. should be the same for Johnny and Jimmy. Um, Simon, of course, is uh, no slouch when it comes to being filmed on camera. <laughs> yeah, takes it in his stride. He's uh, going to finish up this front seven on 10 under par. Yep, Johnny's the only one really chasing him at this yeah. point. So mm -hmm. he's in there with minus six. Yep. Jimmy will tap out his par to finish. He's minus one, so he's still kind of in the hunt. Um, but yeah, I have definitely, as you can see, all of that red on the scorecard. Yeah, I'm kind of dropping out the back. Here's my one highlight, that great <laughs> putt. Hey, um, that's all it counts, mate. <laughs> providing the highlights. Yeah, right? Drive and, for show, putt for dough, apparently. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, as you can see, the wind was playing havoc all round. Um, we got Simon. He's still leading uh, at minus 10. We have Johnny Ferrari coming in at minus 6. Mitch and Jackson coming up from Chase Card. Good to see that. They're sitting at minus 3 and minus 2, respectively. So they're still hanging in there. So it's still anyone's game. It's still yeah. only third round. So we. And shout out to Johnny and Stephen Reed for uh, playing even so far. Yeah, well done. So that's just the first seven here. Um, stay tuned for the middle seven of round three. We'll see you there.